Merry Christmas to me. Oh my God, it's so hot. It's so hot. Hey guys, it's Catagon and it is 2020. We have reached the new decade. As you probably already know, it is hot and I bought myself an iPad. I bought myself the iPad Pro from 2018, the 11-inch, 264-ish gigabytes, I believe, for the purpose of doing art on the fly. I bought it on Boxing Day, which was obviously insane, like why would I do it? But I am a person who really enjoys getting the product on the spot after I've purchased it and a store that I was nearby to just happened to have one left in stock and I thought, you know what, since I know there's going to be no sales, I'm going to go and get one. I have already looked into my new iPad, I've already added all the apps that I want. I've already had a good little play around with my iPad just so I can get a feel for Apple products because I have not used any Apple products. Okay. You heard me right. I don't know what AirPods are like. I have never used them. I'm going to have to probably buy some for this iPad Pro because obviously with a lot of Apple products now, they don't have headphone jacks. I'm so sorry about the light. I'm filming in like the mid-afternoon. I'm going to have to try and fix this. Give me two seconds. Oh shit. Why have you betrayed me? Honestly guys, I really need a new second tripod. This one sucks. Oh my god, it just looks worse, honestly. Ah, The footage will get better. I just want to film the starting point of this video and then you can get to enjoying some of the art I create. I've never used Procreate. It is one of the main reasons why I decided to get an iPad. That and the fact that I don't like actually drawing digitally at a computer. It is not fun for me. It is in no ways fun. I have realized that. It felt like a chore. It was not fun. It was not something I looked forward to. And you guys know by now that I like to do my drawing usually on my couch. That is where I'm comfortable, that is where I can usually get out my ideas and be just easy breezy. I find it very hard for me to get comfortable. Like for instance right now I'm not comfortable because it's so hot! We're a little bit more on the tropical side. We 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 have very muggy weather here and, and that's exactly what this is. So obviously this is the box and it comes with the charger and all your info inside. And then this is my handy dandy iPad Pro from 2018. Okay, so first thing I can definitely tell you, it's fast. There is no like motion blur, it's just, it's so quick, it's so responsive. I also got myself the Apple Pencil, of course, because why wouldn't I? This is the stylus that's been destroying all other styluses, basically. Now, I did get the second generation, obviously, this is the newer version, and it requires the second generation I pencil. The first generation is not going to work with this iPad. It's completely separate. Not that that's important, but just to let you know, in case you thought, why would you go buy all the newer stuff, Kat? Why? Why? Because it, it won't work. <laughs> oh my god, I'm trying to open one end and it's, it's completely openable from this end. Designed by Apple in California. Ooh. So yeah, this is... This is the Apple Pencil. I also bought myself a nice case to go with this Apple iPad to protect it in the future and make it easier for me to do things like, I don't know, watch videos, maybe just have it on my lap and have it on a table just sitting and all around just protect it a little bit more than it being just on its own a flat screen basically. This pencil feels really nice. It's not smooth, it's got a really nice grip to it. Now. Here's the thing I've been wanting to do. Is it this side? Oh! Oh, that's so cool! Oh! <laughs> and you guys probably didn't even see it because my camera is being a f***ing do bag. Okay, you know what? Why don't we just... Wow. Just snap. That, that is neat. Anyway, let's get into this Procreate app. I've already downloaded it, bought it. We'll see, now this is nice. It's got the option of sRGB and a CMYK. That's really cool. It's to help with basically different ways of how you're going to use your artwork in the end, like if you're going to print it or not. Let's just go for a sRGB square. Just, just a square. Give us a square. I'm just going to have a little bit of fun. Well, that's, that's not good. It's not working yet. <laughs> Do I need to like download it? 
Yes. Ah, okay. Sorry, my bad. It didn't do it before. Okay, we we good. Can I can I use it now? Oh yes, I can. Oh shit, boss. Okay, nice. Fly. Get the f out. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> that is very nice touch sensitivity. Oh my goodness. You guys can't feel it, but I can be so light with this. Wow. 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 Dude, I've never felt anything like this before in my entire life. <laughs> Could this be the one, cat? Could this be the answer to all your problems, to all your suffering? Because yeah, if you guys don't already know, I have such a problem with drawing digitally. That is so easy to use, honestly. Look at that, like nothing. I just wipe it away. Like wow, there's so much. Oh my god, they got layers! I actually already knew that. I don't know why I'm excited. I don't know why I'm acting like this is new knowledge to me because it's not. I already knew Procreate had this option. Ooh. Hmm. And then if I, I smudge it. Wow. And you can do different types of smudges. That's that's neat. I like that. What about this one? video, preps, canvas, and then you can choose different types of files you want to send it off as, whether that be JPEG, TIFF, PNG, time-lapse recording is automatic, that's nice. So what's this? Brush opacity and brush size. Okay, so this, this damn camera is not working for me. <laughs> Don't worry guys, you'll get to see plenty of what I make out of this. I'm going to assume that probably voiceover cat's probably going to take the reins at this point. And, and I'm just, I'm really hot. I'm very intrigued though. I've never worked with anything this fluid, this smooth, this, like this, this stylus is insane. <laughs> And you guys know, you guys know, I have had a shit time with my Intuos Pro from Wacom. Just because it's so cheap. I mean, let's face it, this is more than double the price, it's triple the price, it's quadruple the price for goodness sake. Because I can do so much more. It's not just a, a drawing tablet. I like the mobility of this. It's incredible stuff what you can do on this now. They're, they're closing the gap. They're closing the gap from what is an iPad and what is a Mac or what is a computer. They're closing that gap and making it so much better now. <sighs> Especially with the stylus. This is good. I'm serious. Like this was expensive but it's it's tailored to the iPad. It's tailored to work with this iPad and to be the best it possibly can be. I've tried styluses. Okay, I've tried, you know, those little squishy thingies. It can definitely get better, guys. The Apple Pencil is no joke. But I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take a breather and I'm just gonna breathe. <laughs> so just sit back and enjoy. Alright guys, so I got to work pretty quickly after I had this little play around. The first night I actually did a quick little sketch of a fan art of Legoshi from the recent Beastars anime. Go check that out, it's an amazing anime. <laughs> you don't have to be interested in anything to do with furries to be interested in it. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but I had so much fun doing that, I ended up finishing it within two hours tops and I thought wow this piece of hardware this product is insane not to say that Wacom products are any less good or anything else that is digital is any less good this just works for me and I'm going to tell you why first of all you can actually download Photoshop onto your iPad as I've said I the iPads have come a long way you can now download apps like um, Adobe Fresco I think that's one of the newer ones that have come out Photoshop there's Lightroom there's a lot that you can download onto the iPad had now from the App Store. You can watch and stream movies. There is a lot of space on my iPad due to it being 264-ish gigabytes. That is another thing. If you are an artist, 
definitely consider getting as much room as you can, as much as you can afford, because you want to be holding on to this, I would imagine, for quite some time, so you want the space. I was considering just the 64 gigabytes to begin with, but then I realized it's probably not going to be enough. And the iPad is not a hard drive, you cannot add space, you cannot add more storage after you have bought this product. So just get more just in case, just as a nice little cushiony buffer for yourself. Next thing I'd like to talk about is the cloud. I have never used the cloud in my entire life and I experienced using it just the other night to transfer photos and videos from my iPad. For me, the cloud is like, wow, wireless transferring is pretty amazing. And the fact that Procreate has an inbuilt recording system is like, oh, music to my ears. Procreate has so many additional things that to me are actually quite easy to find. A lot of people seem to have this issue with Procreate that they can't find a lot of the tools that they need because the UI is so, well, uncluttered. You have to go digging and searching for it. But I actually don't mind that. Photoshop and a lot of other apps on computers are overwhelming. The first time I saw Photoshop, I was, I, I was like, I can't do this. How the fricky frack am I ever going to learn how to use this damn thing? But Procreate kind of eases me into it. And when I'm curious about a new tool, obviously I go looking for it on the internet. For instance, I found the mirror tool just by looking online. And I know you can do the exact same thing by looking up stuff for Photoshop. But I would do that and I'd still get confused and lost within the UI and all of the different types of options and menus that you had to go through. Now, I don't have the experience of working with a Cintiq or a better Wacom tablet or any sort of tablet that you plug into your computer for that matter. I have not had the experience so I have not been able to try just how amazing and buttery smooth I can imagine those products to be. But I can save up for those things and I decided for the iPad over the Cintiq because I don't enjoy sitting at my computer drawing. I like the mobility of the iPad and I also like that there is so much more to offer on the iPad just not it being a drawing tablet and I always always wanted to try Procreate. It is a large expense. The iPad I bought here in New Zealand dollars was just over $1,600, which is a big chunk out of <laughs> my savings. And that's not even adding the Apple Pencil, the case, and my paper-like screen protector, which is still coming. <laughs> it is a lot of money to spend on something like this, and it's hard to decide between the two. But I knew what I wanted pretty much straight away when <laughs> I've been wanting an iPad for so long, and I knuckled down and I decided, no, I want the best of what I can get right now. I haven't spent a lot of money recently on anything particularly special and sometimes you just got to treat yourself and get something that's new and fresh and, and that you believe is going to fulfill your needs. I can't believe it. I didn't think it could be this good but it really is. For me it ticks all the boxes and it's insane how... how <laughs> It's everything I wanted, guys. It's everything I wanted. <laughs> I am so incredibly happy to have this in my hands right now. And just to let you know, Procreate is like $10, like American, and Photoshop is like a huge expense, and it's a subscription fee. This is a one-time payment. You're getting so many tools that other painting apps offer for so much less, obviously, if you take into the account of how much you're spending on the iPad, but you don't have to get the newest model that I have. I just wanted the newest and the best because I've never had an Apple product before. So if you can relate with me on the same sort of points that I have listed, then maybe give the iPad a try. As someone who has never had an iPad myself or anything new or anything that was considered the best that was out now. This is luxurious to me. Nothing that I used digitally worked. I mean, I could have Photoshop, but then I could have the shittiest tablet and just have no luck. This is way more enjoyable. This feels like how it should feel when I see other artists enjoying digital painting. And that is a wrap. And I would like to thank you all for 400 subscribers. Woo! Yay! <laughs> I've noticed that YouTube has been recommending some of my videos finally it's only taken me what oh uh, a year <laughs> 
No, I'm seriously thankful. Thank you to all of the new subscribers who have come on board. Let's make it to 500. Yay. Stay tuned for some more traditional and digital art in the future. Make sure to check out my Redbubble shop where you can find the Lego She piece that I just showed you the shorts for and any other merch that you might be interested in. Give it a like and maybe subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. You take it easy, stay real, and I will see you all in the next video. See ya!